ZeroHedge.com, New Jersey gym owners outmaneuver governor's vendetta with political workaround. And one of the lockdown stories that's earned a lot of coverage concerns Ian Smith and Frank Trebetti, who own Attila's Gym in Belmar, New Jersey. And we've brought you some of the stories from them in the past kicking down their locked in doors to let people work out, opening in defiance of state orders. Yeah, New Jersey. Because the Wuhan virus is now the status quo rather than an emerging threat, they have pushed back against Governor Phil Murphy's insistence that his continuing emergency executive powers can force them into bankruptcy. They reopened and despite observing social distancing, masks and disinfection rules, and no cases of Wuhan virus can be traced to their gym, Murphy is engaged in a full-on vendetta against the gym, including yanking their business license. Help may be on the way, though. The gym owners have allied with Rick Mehta, a pharmacist who is running for the U.S. Senate. If Mehta wins, he'll bump Corey. I am Spartawas Booker, one of the smarmiest leftists in the Senate. The gym owners and Mehta had a great idea. They've turned the gym into Mehta's campaign headquarters. Oh, oh, I love it. The gym will serve as a campaign headquarters and rally spot for Republican U.S. Senate candidate Rick Mehta, a pharmacist who was challenging Senator Cory Booker. Uh, the owner said Jim Cohen or Frank Trombetti asked whether the pair thought the state might try to mess with them this time around and responded, we believe they can't. It doesn't mean that they're not going to. Quote, we hope it gives us a reprieve until November 3rd, he said, of potential government interference at the gym. Everyone who comes in here will be a volunteer for the Meta campaign and we'll be here to exercise our rights. And we're not requiring masks either. Now, this is awesome. This is really awesome. Because what are the, what are the, what's the, you can come to our campaign headquarters if, as a volunteer. And while you're, while you're volunteering, feel free to work out and enjoy the gym. Like, every, like and I, I'm kind of like, this is, this is so cool, not just because, and, and I know some of you guys are going, Adam, you're pretty. Yeah, I'll praise a Republican candidate when they do something you know, badass in defiance like this and say, oh, screw your laws. We're, we're going to just, we're, what's a lawyer for? To figure out how what we're doing is, how to, how to figure out what we're doing anyway, how to figure out how what we are going to do anyway is legal. And we figured it out. Yeah, we're this is now a campaign headquarters. And our volunteers get to get to work out. How about that? We got a gym in the back of our volunteer headquarters or our campaign headquarters. And if you shut this down, it's political suppression. And this is awesome. This is awesome. Because there's so many other ways that you can use this to get around bullshit as a business owner if this is successful. And I'm, we're going to be watching. We're going to be following up. What I suspect will happen is they're going to kind of get away with it until November 3rd. And then something's going to happen. Either they're going to lose that excuse, and they're going to cra and the crackdown's going to come. Uh, and 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 who knows where we are with Corona then, with a new administration coming in. But this kind of like clever workaround, just say hey, we're not going to follow you. Well, we're we're going to you you wrote so many laws with so many loopholes. Guess what? We found one that applies to this. Now, you think about this from the perspective of the gym owners, right? You have to have a business license. You have to pay taxes. If you're a gym, there's probably all sorts of other crap you got to go through to operate legally as a gym, as a public business. But why not be campaign headquarters 24-7, 365? Why not? Uh, maybe, maybe you can't have a bank account for the money that you're taking in from the gym. Well, who cares? Buy, take, collect cash, buy Bitcoin. Or, or put it somewhere else. You can't trust banks with with your money these days anyway. So, well, what's well, why would you do that? And and I hope what this is telling business owners all over the country is your customers don't care. Your customers so distrust government at this point and are so willing to disobey that if you're the civil disobedience business you'll probably get more business than if you're the compliant whatever. Although right now it's 
small businesses like this who are being shut down against big businesses like Target and Walmart who never will. And that's the real fr- real fight. So I'm excited to see uh, Ian Smith and Frank Trombetti teaming up with, and I will give him named credit here, Rick Mehta, the Republican candidate for U.S. Senate New Jersey. Uh, props to them for standing up on uh, on the right side of this fight and and actually putting a little skin in the game. So here's to them. I hope everybody else can follow their example. 